cancer is the second leading cause of mortality worldwide. Approximately one in three people will develop some form of cancer during their lifetime. Every day, every minute, all around us, people are affected by the devastating news of a cancer diagnosis. Cancer patients feel their life suddenly coming to a halt. And yet, there is an unprecedented mobilization on a global scale for an action plan to fight cancer and save more lives. As we continue to build on our understanding of cancer, thanks to the technological advances in basic science, new diagnostics and strategies for prevention and screening are being implemented. However, the quest for improving upon existing treatments and for the discovery of more effective therapies is now more pressing than ever. Academia remains an incubator of drug innovation, with a number of success stories originating from academic labs. The IndyCar Fellowship Program at the University of Vienna is co-funded by the European Union Framework Program 7 Marie Curie Actions. The program promotes a new vision of postdoctoral training in the field of cancer research. A central goal of IndyCar is to further straighten the role of researchers as critical thinking, independent, autonomous, and risk-taking researchers and innovators who will contribute to the benefit of academia and society at large. At the University of Vienna, we are currently developing a novel class of STAT3 inhibitors with our international collaborators in the US and the UK. STAT3 is a well-validated and highly sought-after target for cancer therapeutics because this protein is activated in a number of cancers and is implicated in processes which are critical for tumor growth and development, such as cell proliferation, survival, immune invasion, angiogenesis and metastasis. However, STAT3 remains an elusive target for its clinical application. With our collaborators, we have synthesized and tested over 40 novel small molecule STAT3 inhibitors, and we have identified our lead compound, which can be used as a standalone agent to efficiently reduce the levels of STAT3 in a number of cancer cell lines, interfere with the tumor growth signaling, and ultimately kill cancer cells through the induction of apoptosis. One of the biggest challenges of available treatments is the emergence of resistance to both conventional cytotoxic chemotherapy, which is a mainstay of cancer therapy, but also to the more recent targeted therapies. STAT3, on both accounts, has been identified as a key mediator of this resistance, which is ultimately the reason why patients succumb to the disease. We are using our small molecule inhibitor in combination with DNA damaging chemotherapy and radiation in various models of resistance. STAT3 inhibition enhances the effects of those treatments by restoring cellular sensitivity. We are using a number of biological assays to elucidate the molecular and cellular mechanisms of the strong synergisms we observe in our models. saw them through the microscope, I felt kind of excited yet repulsed. It was a strange feeling. I was told that they were delicate and that I would have to treat them with a lot of care to keep them alive. Then how could it be so difficult to eradicate them from the human body, I thought. Well, cancer treatment basically is a constant balance act between fighting the tumor and not harming the human body. What keeps us going as researchers is that we know that treating cancer is a battle worth fighting for and I feel privileged to contribute. One of the most commonly used assays in this lab is the COMET assay. It shows us the damage on DNA inflicted by chemotherapy drugs used in the clinic, and also if or how this damage can be repaired by resistant or sensitive cancer cells. It further helps us identify the effect that our inhibitor has on these processes. The name of the assay is pretty self-explanatory. When you look at the damaged DNA through the microscope, it essentially looks like comets in the night sky. Despite an increase in incidence rates, the number of people living beyond a cancer diagnosis has steadily increased. Cancer survival rates have doubled in the last 40 years from a quarter to now half the people surviving for 10 years or longer. 
developing new, more effective drugs is a long-winded, costly and lengthy process requiring years of intensive research and interdisciplinary collaborations. At the University of Vienna, we will continue to pursue new leads and innovative paradigms for cancer drug discovery. We envisage the day that people with cancer will have the optimal means to continue with their lives past the diagnosis, beating the disease. The day that all cancer patients will be long-term survivors.